Hi there and welcome. My name is Leighton Spencer and I'm a Google Workspace for Education specialist focused on higher education. As part of Google Cloud Student Success Week, I wanted to share how students are using our tools inside and outside the classroom in today's presentation, creating new possibilities in higher ed with Google Workspace for Education. Thank you for joining. Today we will be talking about and diving into the education landscape showing you some of the tools students are using to be creative, collaborative, and productive. And finally, we'll wrap up with a picture of what the student journey looks like. Over 170 million students and educators worldwide use Google Workspace for Education. Throughout the last two years, we've witnessed the resilience and creativity of students as they've dealt with hybrid learning environments and headed back to campus. In many ways, Higher education faculty, staff, and students took lemons and made lemonade. And as the future of the classroom continues to evolve, Google Workspace for Education is helping students bolster creativity, seamlessly collaborate, and save time with these productive tools. As you can see, there's a lot happening with Google Workspace for Education. We're constantly working to take user feedback and develop products to make the most flexible, collaborative, and helpful not to mention safe and secure. Let's dive into how students are using Google Workspace tools inside and outside the classroom, helping them to become more successful, organized, and productive, and to build ideas of the future. In the past, you've heard us talk about neat features like breakout rooms, closed captions in five languages, improved hand raising, Q&A, polling, and the ability to have 25 co-hosts. Students and faculty alike found these tools extremely helpful during remote learning, and we are seeing the continuation of usage for some of these features even in the classroom. One integration that stuck out was the wonderful tool called Jamboard, which became the digital whiteboard while students were working from home. Although we know that there's nothing like writing something on a board to brainstorm, the ability to save information and continue to edit or add details has been a benefit for students. Instead of taking a picture or transcribing, what was on the board, they're using Jamboards to add sticky notes, images, or links into the visual notebook. One visual organization tool that students enjoy is the ability to customize their Gmail inbox based on their classes and activities. They first create labels with the names of their classes or professors, and then customize those labels to have coordinating colors. For extra visual and creative students, they often use the same color coding system for their calendar. It is easy to set up labels based on information like the sender or topic, which allows them to automate this process. From there, they often also add additional visual cues, such as start to mark time sensitive or important items. Many students are quite active on campus, participating in student clubs or organizations, sports, volunteer opportunities, and more. Faculty are not the only ones using forms these days. Some examples we've seen are students using forms uh, to help select meeting times, event registrations, organizing tryouts, voting, and more. Students are able to use originality reports to check their own work before submitting assignments to their professors. Why is this important? Well, it can actually help them ensure that their work is authentic, allowing them to check citations, and encouraging them to use self-governance instead of facing the punitive measures of plagiarism. When it comes to group projects, there can be a lot of moving pieces. That's why with Smart Canvas, students are able to easily link to other drive files, tag each other when organizing action items, or even making a checklist for next steps. This is just one way we're bringing the content and connections that transform collaboration into a richer, better experience in Google Workspace. It's also worth noting, all students learn differently. With Google Docs, students can enable voice to text to help them capture their thoughts and ideas without actually having to type them out. Creativity can come in many forms. Often students are required to create visual presentations to showcase their work or research. With Google Slides, students can choose from templates or even use the power of Google Search to find images or Google Drive to upload their own files within their presentations. Sheets helps students organize and analyze data. 
formula suggestions, intelligently recommends formulas and functions to use based on the data you are analyzing. And Google is accepting over 3 million formula suggestions each week, strengthening the intelligence to help students be as successful as possible. Formula Corrections also provides intelligent suggestions to help you troubleshoot formulas, catch errors, or deliver insights from your data faster. We've showed you some examples of how students make the most out of Google Workspace for Education tools. These easy to use tools come naturally to digital natives who, are, who have been familiar with technology in the classroom since their K-12 days. And now we're taking these skills to the next level to not only stay organized and productive, but also to collaborate across institutions or even continents. But how are these skills translating into the workplace? Outside of Google for Education's 170 million users, there are 3 billion workspace users from companies and organizations around the globe. Companies like Whirlpool, National Institution of Health Research, Wayfair, Spotify, Etsy, PwC, and Salesforce, not to mention state and local governments, use these tools every day. Additionally, 96% of Forbes' next billion dollar startups use Workspace. We see students able to transition into the workforce with ease because of the familiarity with Google Workspace tools. Just like the collaboration with classmates, other institutions, or even students abroad, the workers of the future are ready to cross-functionally collaborate in the workforce, no matter what the future holds. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the conversation around new possibilities in higher education with Google Workspace. Thanks again.